So now that we're uh, going through module two, where we're studying advanced functional programming, there will be a big emphasis in uh, the various uses of functions, how you can use a function to achieve many different things. Um, and one of the characteristics of um, functional programming is usually that functions can be used as values. That means that functions are treated as first class um, citizens or as values in in the programming language. That means uh, many things. So as we saw before, actually functional programming means many things for different people. It could mean avoid mutation, using functions as values, or a programming style that encourages uh, recursive um, data structures and recursion or recursive algorithms, and a programming model that uses lazy evaluation, which is something we'll discover, uh, that we'll discuss. And we're gonna, in this course, go through all these different things, all these different facets of functional programming. Uh, we've been looking at this idea where we have uh, recursive data structures such as the list, which is defined with the base case and empty list, and the, the, the construct of the cons that adds an element to the list. And we also saw a bit of re recursive algorithms that handle such data structures. And but today and in this particular in this model, we're going to uh, have a big emphasis in um, using functions as values. And as you will see, what that means is because they are values, they can be passed around as arguments. They can be stored in data structures or bound to variables. And we've seen binding uh, functions to variables. Right when we learned about function declaration, the fact that we could do define a and then pass and then have a lambda on the right hand side. Um, we're also going to see as functions for uh, extension points as a way to generalize behavior. Um, and you, that is a very, there is very common, we're going to go through this in more detail, but just as a, um, a little um, hint of what's coming ahead, if you've ever heard of callbacks, usually functions are a great um, use for that. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to start by looking at functions as parameters.